Mr. Windsor, Carl McKenzie. Sorry to bother you. One of your lads said you might be looking for drivers. You know, you might just have timed it right. Have you got your documents on you? When can you start? When do you need me? Well, come inside. Got it fast enough, didn't you, lads? Finish at half three, left at half three. Yeah, I know you did. I checked. This is Carl. He's going to be driving with us as of Monday. All right? All right. Listen, lads, I'm thinking of giving you two a change so you don't get sick of each other. What? Are you splitting us up? No, I'm giving you a run out with someone else, that's all. Just for a few days. See how you get on. This is not to do with yesterday's little altercation with your boss be any chance. What makes you think that, eh? <laughs> Hope you're not going to be as paranoid as these two, Carl. <laughs> right, well, we'll get a couple of drinks in and we'll go through a few ins and outs. Diane? I'll have a tonic, thanks. As long as it's not coming out of my wages. Excuse us. <laughs> Carl. Basically, anything else you need to know, you'll pick up as you go along. You'll soon get used to it. Your two lads before seemed a bit put out. Nothing I won't be putting right. As long as I don't get a black spot against my name before I've even started. I wouldn't worry about it. You'll just be driving. Suits me. You'll soon get the hang of the way things work round here. Sam Dingle, the village idiot earlier on, is part of a family of villains. We've had a bit of trouble with them in the past, but uh, it's starting to get out of hand. They broke into the haulage yard on Christmas Eve. Managed to uh, slide their way out of it, but uh, I'll have them, though. I'll just drive, mate. I'll see you Monday morning, then. Yeah, thanks a lot. Am I all right parking here? Yeah, as long as you're not blocking anyone in, you all right, yeah? Right, well, I'll see you later. Cheers.